Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we will encounter equations where instead of numbers we have letters A, B, C, and D instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. And yet, we're supposed to solve these equations for the unknown variable x. With other words, A, B, C, and D in these two examples represent numbers, but they're written as letters. So how do we go ahead and solve these equations for x? We use the very same rules as before. For example, our first example here, we make sure that all the terms of x end up on one side and all the numbers, the constants as we call them, end up on the other side. So in this case, we're going to move b to the other side over here, which then makes it a negative b on the right side. So this becomes 8x is equal to c minus b. The next step is to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable x. In this case, the numerical coefficient is a, even though it's a letter, it represents a constant, a number. So we divide the left side by a, and we divide the right side by a. The a's cancel, and we end up with x is equal to c minus b divided by a. Now, since we do not know what the values are for c, b, and a, we leave it in that form. If you knew what the values are, we would substitute them in and find the numerical value for x. But in this case, writing it as x equals c minus b over a is perfectly valid, understanding that a, b, and c are representative of numbers. Now let's take a look at this example. Notice we have a term on the right side that contains x, which means that one must go to the left and b must go to the right. So we're going to move the cx term to the left and the b term to the right. Again, when they cross the equal sign, their sign changes. So this becomes ax minus cx is equal to d plus, oh, not plus because the b moves across. So this becomes minus b. Now the next step is a little bit different from what we're used to seeing. Here we have two terms. We cannot add or in this case subtract them from one another because we do not know the value of a and c. They are representative numbers, we just don't know what they are. So what we can do instead is factor out an x. So that means I can write this as x times a minus c. In other words, if a is a number and c is a number, then a minus c would be a number, whatever the number is, which is a minus c, multiplied times x. That would then be equal to d minus b. We might also want to write it as a minus c times x is equal to d minus b. To see how that works, let's compare that if we had numbers. Let's say we had the numbers 5x minus 2x instead of ax minus cx. So a would be 5 and c would be 2. So this can then be written as 5 minus 2 times the quantity x, which then of course would be written as 3x. But since we don't know what the, five, what the a and the c are, they could be whatever number, we'll write it in this form as a minus c instead of 5 minus 2 being equal to 3. The last thing we want to do is divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable x. So we divide the left side, the left side by a minus c, and we divide the right side by a minus c. The a minus c is cancel, and we end up with x is equal to d minus b divided by a minus c. And this would then be the final result, the solution to our original equation. If x equals d minus b divided by a minus c, the left side will equal the right side. And since we don't know what the values are for a, b, c, and d, we'll just leave it in that format and it will be the correct solution. And that's how it's done.